stocking stuffers are a staple in our family's Christmas, but one thing I don't like doing is filling them with useless junk. So many items are labeled as stocking stuffers, but literally if we're just putting stuff in there that make them look bigger, but the stuff in there is just gonna clutter up their bedroom or end up in a Goodwill pile or even worse, the trash, and your kid's never gonna enjoy it, what's the purpose of wasting our money to put it into a stocking? I'm gonna share the types of items that I like to put in our kids' stockings to help keep out all the useless clutter and junk and make it something that my kids will actually use. Hi, I'm Stacy with Kids Learning for Life, and the first item that I like to put into my kids' stockings are games. You could do card games, such as a simple deck of cards, you could do Uno, you could do Skip Go, Go Fish, depending on the age of your child, but card games fit perfectly into stockings. There are dice games. You could get either a little cup of dice or a game called Tenzi, and there's lots of other dice games out there as well, depending on what your kid is interested in. Other games might include things such as pickup sticks, or a Rubik's Cube or something of that nature. Not only are these great ideas because they fit in the stocking perfectly, but also it gives them an, a, another activity to do during Christmas Day. So as you're going over to be with family, they can bring their deck of cards or their pickup sticks and they can have a fun time on Christmas Day and beyond. Next up is a bunch of different ideas rolled into one based on their perfect stocking stuffer size, but these include movies, CDs, video games, and books. Now the type of video game, movie, CD, or book that you get is all gonna depend on what your child is interested in, but all of these are great things that your kid is going to use not just on Christmas morning, but they can use it the rest of the year. This next idea is actually something I remember getting in my stocking as a kid, and it is school supplies. I don't know, but when we get our kids school supplies at the beginning of the year, by the time Christmas rolls around, all those pencils might need some help, all those folders. So this is a good time to add in some extra school supplies to let your kid refresh their backpack or their desk. These can be different things like bookmarks, pens, pencils, highlighters, gel pens, colored pencils, all sorts of different things that they could use for school and that way they have these fresh new items and again, it fills that stocking, but it's definitely useful. Along the same lines as school supplies is also art materials. So maybe your kiddo is interested in art and they want more specialty type um, materials, so you can put those in there. So these can be, you know, charcoal pencils, they could be little, um, watercolor paints, anything of that sort. But another favorite I have for art, well, I consider it art supplies, but is tape. When my kiddos were younger, they definitely loved this, and I would get masking tape, colored masking tape, and give them each roll. And this was their roll. They could use it however they wanted. And my kids just had a blast. Now that they're older, I'm probably gonna get them maybe some masking tape still, because they still have fun, but maybe some other kinds of tapes. I don't know why. Tape, if you're not careful with kids, just disappears so this way I kind of let them have their own tape and then they can use it however they want and I don't have to worry about me not having tape when I need it. Next up are timer bookmarks. Now I actually got this idea from Katie over at Life in the Mundane when she shared what she was getting for her kids at the beginning of the school year and some materials she had and I thought this was brilliant. It's a little timer on a bookmark so when your kids are doing their silent reading or independent reading they are able to set their own little timer and put it in their book. This is brilliant. I'm super excited to get these and I think my kids will really enjoy them. I hope they don't turn into useless junk. <laughs> Another item, depending on, again, what your kid is interested in, but this size is perfect, is any sort of type of collectible card. So like Pokemon cards, baseball cards, or any other card of that nature would fit perfectly in a stocking. Add it to your kids. Again, if they're interested in it, they're gonna love having this in there. These next few items are what I actually consider a little over practical, but they're definitely things that your kids probably need and will fit perfectly into a stocking. First up is socks and underwear. Might not be something your kids are asking for, but I'm sure your kids probably need some, either the next size up or their other socks are just worn out because they wear them outside without shoes. I don't know, I tell mine all the time, but they still wear them outside and then they got holes in them. So they always need some new ones. Next is anything oral hygiene, toothbrush, toothpaste, dental flosters. This is also something I always remembered getting in my stocking as a kid, but it's just a good time and as a parent, it's a little reminder for me, oh yeah, my kid probably needs a new toothbrush. They've probably been using the one they have way too long. They need some new toothpaste, that sort of thing. They fit perfectly in stockings and your kids will enjoy having something new. Next up is 
anything hair care product related. These can be um, hair ties, hair bows, hair elastic band thingies, um, combs, brushes. You could even do like gels and hairsprays and different things of that nature. Those would fit in as well. In addition to dental hygiene and hair care, you can definitely include anything that your child uses on a daily basis as they're getting ready or that they need as part of their day. These can include things such as chapstick, lotions, shampoos, conditioners, body wash, all of that good stuff, or even makeup if your kid is into that already. So whatever that they use, they're gonna enjoy getting it in their stocking. I promise you, I always got this kind of stuff in my stocking growing up, and I continue to do that for my kiddos, and they love it. It's just, it's really awesome. Next up is a watch. Now, my kids have, I've done this several times now, again, the watches don't last forever, but my kids love getting a watch and being able to wear it and have that um, to wear around and always kind of know what time it is. So again, especially for those younger, like third grade and under, it's very important that they start getting that concept of time. So it's a perfect way to introduce them to it and make sure they understand, you know, being able to be accountable to themselves on knowing what time it is, when it's time to come inside, when it's time to eat, and that sort of thing. Next up is something that I have definitely done in the past, and I've gotten my kiddos walkie-talkies. So again, you could just get a set and put each um, kid's stocking, give them a walkie-talkie, and they will have fun with that. It's, I mean, my kiddos love having fun. I have talked about walkie-talkies in the past and said that I've had issues making sure that I have my kiddos bring them in, especially before rain. So just make sure you have a good system in place for if they take them outside to play with them, that they make sure they all come back. Next up is headphones. Whether they need them to listen to music, use them on an iPad or in a computer, these would definitely come in handy. So hopefully that helps you find some useful items that you can add to your kid's stocking that won't just turn into piles of junk later on in the year. Now that your stockings are full, maybe you need some more ideas for gifts for your kiddos. I've made a video about gift ideas for boys and Jenny made a video about gift ideas for girls. Both of those you can watch and I will see you next time and Merry Christmas.